okay open the open filer and web user interface type the user id open filer password is password okay now the main screen will appear which is the status of my system so it is giving all system information right now the primary memory and the secondary storage so primary memory contains the kernel and buffers and and second memory has three partitions which I created in my boot hard disk and this portion shows me all the storage devices attached to the system I have CD-ROM and I have hard disk in which operating system is installed and then I have these three hard disks for storage these are SCSI devices so now I will create a RAID 5 click on volume so once it is loaded I'll add the volume so click on volume groups okay these are four hard disks right now and as I told you hard disk one is my operating system and these three are the SCSI drives remaining three so I will select this one first to make it as a part of my RAID so I need to create RAID configuration so I'll edit this hard disk and from down here you can see partition type is extended so I will change it to RAID array member and then click on create ok now this first hard disk has been created I will go back to the other hard disk we will select hard disk 2 ok we will change again its partition type to RAID member and then create in the same way I will go back and will add another third hard disk as a RAID member and click on create ok now these three hard disks have been added I will click on software RAID now ok now these three hard disks are available and I have option RAID 1, 5, 0, 6 and 10 I will use RAID 5 because this is I need I will select these three hard disks from here and will add it to array ok now you can see the status of this it is showing processing and 34% is done it depends upon your hard disk size also and I will see how many members are there in this so I have three hard disks in which I have added in this array so you can see the status of these also okay, now I will refresh this page so that I can see the progress of my storage of my rate now you can see rate partitions are used and my rate is active now rate 5 is active I will again click on uh, add volume because now using this rate I need to create a volume so I'll give its name my rate 5 and add volume group now you can see this rate 5 volume has been created but again this is not available for use because it is not having any uh, system file uh, means uh, there is no file system right now so I'll again create a volume by clicking add volume so now volume within this I will create I'll create two partitions of this hard disk this uh, RAID 5 right now it is 4 GB so I'll make 2 GB for share and 2 GB for SCSI iSCSI so my RAID volume RAID 5 volume okay total size is 4 GB I'll make approximate half of it 
and ext3 okay let it be zfs xfs and create okay now 52% is made and 48% is remaining okay now i will and refresh this and click on add volume and this unused space I will use for iSCSI in my iSCSI volume and iSCSI volume target okay then make it iSCSI and create okay now my all hard disk is used now 52% was used earlier and 48% was remaining now I'll see the progress now 52% is my data my rate and 48% is for iSCSI target okay if you see the status of this now system information will show my RAID also mounted area you can see in mounted new volume has been added of 2 GB so you can create your RAID by using this tutorial I'll add some more videos please keep watching my channel Thank you so much.